This is OBS, or Open Broadcast Software. But first, there are a few steps you need to go through to make it look like this. The first thing you need to do is tell OBS what you want to capture. Under the Sources tab, click the plus icon and select Display Capture. Then click OK. Everything in the red box is what is being captured. If you want to hide the cursor, untick Capture Cursor, then click OK. This is the main window, it displays what is being captured. The audio bar shows the level of the audio. Ideally when recording you want the audio levels to be in the yellow section. If they exceed the bar and pass 0 dB, your audio may be distorted. On the settings page under the output tab, you can change the format that the recording is stored in. Mine are greyed out at the moment because I'm using the software to try to record itself. There are two settings you may wish to change. First, the recording format. By default it is set to MKV. This format is used because it's safer and if the recording crashes or fails, some data can be recovered. But the problem with this format is that it is not accepted in DaVinci Resolve without reduxing it first. This process is quick and easy in OBS, so I have continued to use it. If you wish to skip the reduxing step, change the format to either MP4 or MOV. The other setting you may wish to change is the recording location. By default it is set to videos on your C drive. Under the video tab is where you can change the recording resolution and frames per second. I recommend using 1920 by 1080 for both the base and the output, unless you are lucky enough to work in 4K, then I recommend 3840 by 2160. The frame rate option ranges from 24 frames per second to 60 frames per second. I use 60 frames per second, but 30 or 25 will be fine. If you plan to mix the recording with other footage, make sure that it is the same frame rate or higher. Now that we are all set up, you are ready to press the start recording button. You can tell it's recording by the red circle in the corner and the clock going up. To stop recording, press the stop recording button. If you left the recording format as MKV, you need to remux the recording. Under file, click remux recording, then click on the three dots to locate the file. Select the MKV file and click open. Then click Remux. The file is now ready to be processed in the next stage which is DaVinci Resolve. 